Planned Parenthood Gets Bad News, Down Syndrome Babies Get New Hope Lawmakers in Ohio are taking massive strides in protecting babies with Down syndrome from being aborted due to their diagnoses. In a 2012 vote on Wednesday, the Ohio Senate passed Senate Bill 164, which would ban abortions after a fetal diagnosis of Down syndrome, according to Cleveland.com. Proponents of the legislation contended that performing abortions because of the genetic disorder is modern-day eugenics. Lawmakers in Ohio are taking massive strides in protecting babies with Down syndrome from being aborted due to their diagnoses. In a 2012 vote on Wednesday, the Ohio Senate passed Senate Bill 164, which would ban abortions after a fetal diagnosis of Down syndrome, according to Cleveland.com. Proponents of the legislation contended that performing abortions because of the genetic disorder is modern-day eugenics. Physicians who violate the ban could be charged with a fourth-degree felony and, if convicted, have their license revoked. Women receiving the abortions would not be punished, according to the Associated Press. Mike Gonadakis, president of Ohio Right to Life, praised the bill's passage. Ohio Right to Life thanks our pro-life senators for taking a stand against the modern-day eugenic practice of aborting babies with Down syndrome, Gonadakis said. All Ohioans, regardless of the gender, skin color or disability, deserve the right to live out their God-given potential and purpose. A similar bill in the state's House of Representatives passed earlier this month, according to the Canton Repository. Between 60 and 90 percent of fetal Down syndrome diagnoses between 1995 and 2011 led to abortion, according to an academic article published by the National Institutes of Health. Rachel Mullen, a 43-year-old mother of three, pro-life activist and supporter of the Ohio legislation, said her doctors pressured her to have an abortion after one of her children tested positive for the possibility of Down syndrome, according to the The New York Times. They told me that I should get an abortion fast, so no one would know I was pregnant and I wouldn't have the stigma of abortion, that it would be doing the child a favor, said Mullen who heads the Cuyahoga County chapter of Ohioans for Life. As soon as babies are born, they're protected by the Americans with Disabilities Act, but we need this bill so that they can be born, and not culled. Down syndrome is the most common chromosomal condition in the United States, with about 1 in 700 babies in the country being born with it, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. They may be different by society's standards, but they're certainly deserving of life and shouldn't be subjected to abortion simply because they have one extra chromosome than others. Ohio is on the right path toward protecting these innocent babies from Planned Parenthood and others who would rip them apart inside their mother's wombs.